If test line is T together with C, that means the result is positive. Look carefully at the result. <laughs> never know what you're going to find in the yard when, when your kids used to live here. Apparently it's a belt. This is literally how archaeological discoveries get made. Rain happens, storm happens, dirt, soil moves. Somebody's walking along. Oh look, a skull. So I says to the old lady, I says to the old lady, I says, on her day off, the other day I said, what do you want to do? She says, what do you want to do? I said, I was thinking we could go play disc golf because it's been forever since we played disc golf. Go by Subway, get a couple sandwiches, have a little picnic in the park, play some disc golf, make a day of it, do some walking. No competitive, you know, not trying to get competitive, just, you know, throw the disc because, you know, I'm all right arm shot anyway. And uh, was not interested. So I spent $500 on three disc golf cages and, uh, Gonna place them around the property and I'll play my own damn disc golf by myself and I'm probably gonna learn how to be left-handed because I just tried to throw the few used discs I have and uh, not only did I suck, of course I hadn't thrown one in eight years, so not only did I suck, but it hurt. So I'm gonna have to learn to go with my left hand, but the other two should be here Monday. I got an orange like that. I got a blue like that, and they got a green like that. And they're supposed to be pretty heavy duty. They're like 35 pounds, I think, or more. And they're the professional grade, powder coated, and everything, everything. So it shouldn't rust. It shouldn't uh, shouldn't go to shit. And can definitely store them away under the carport, you know, or whatever. In the summertime, I mean in the winter time, but for the most part in the summer, we ought to be able to leave them year round. And they had all sorts of variations. Everything from ones with plastic chains to one that just didn't have enough chains. I mean, I guess it's enough. They'd have like 14 chains instead of the 24 chains that they typically have if you go to a disc golf course. So hopefully this will be pretty straightforward, this thing. Put together in no time, we'll be able to shoot some, shoot some lengths, we will. totally going to do one, two, three, four more pads. And then one of those I'm going to leave mostly empty because that's going to be the T. It's going to be the T spot for this first shot. This first shot, which will be going down right there. I figure it's truly a part two, probably. If this is in the disc golf course, it'd be a part two. I'm gonna make it a part three. And uh, I'm gonna go stake it down first.
yeah, get a good day out here and get my other set. And I'll uh, get halfway decent. I lost the drone. Let's see if I can't get some drone footage of me shooting the links. I like you. $149 is a bit much, but it seems super, super quality, but still, I think about $129 would have been, would have been plenty. So I watched a video, and uh, on a new thing I wanted, and I was like, oh, that's easy peasy, and it was not for this tractor, it was for a different tractor, but it was supposed to be all John Deere 100 series, and mine was an E160, the one I was watching was like an S or a D one something. I thought that's a whole new back bagger operation. The first thing I had to do was take off the deck and uh, change out the old blades for some high blades that have a little bit of canter to them that those don't. Of course, those were, I don't know, what do you think? Think they were time to be replaced? Oh my goodness. So yeah, those need a new blades anyway. And look at all the crap. Can you even sunt all the crap that I chiseled off the bottom of my deck? So it actually, it worked out. I needed to do all that stuff anyway. And now we can put on our new bagger. Now we can put our new bagger on. We'll be excited about that, we will. Hopefully it's not as work as these fucking deck blades were. Not as much work, rather. We'll see. Okay, not for nothing. Seems like some netting and a little bit of plastic and a few pieces of metal is, uh, not four hundred dollars worth of material and maybe if i maybe if they came out and put it on i don't know maybe then um this is supposedly how this back piece attaches just kind of on that piece i'd probably like to drill a hole in that and actually have that going kind of through the top coming up through the top of it instead of on the side against the wheel not that the deck should be on the ground, really. So that's about where I mow with it right there. So I guess the deck's gonna be off the ground, so no big whoop, really. And I guess it mostly still runs free. Oh, I'm totally covering the camera. Off the deck mostly. Wheel still runs free, apparently doesn't touch it really. But let's see how she picks up grass. I'm not even. They're not even halfway full. Still not sure it's worth $400. But, I don't know, they had a different version that it was a pull behind. Um, of course, it didn't occur to me that I totally have to take this off. Or at least have to take the bags off if I'm gonna hook the trailer up. And the bags have gotta come off. I mean, I guess technically they don't. No, they do, because this bag's in the way, because it's kind of offset and uh, yeah, it's offset to the right side since that's where the mower chute is. So yeah, the, the, the bag would, at least the left bag would have to come off. I was to pull the trailer. And I don't know, I guess the bags aren't going to be too heavy. That's not too bad. I woke up sniffly and coughing like a son of a gun this morning. Like nonstop, just coughing, dry cough. I'm like, oh well, I definitely got the coves. And uh, so luckily I ordered one of these at-home tests months ago when they first became available. Hell. This actually expires in like three months. Now I did the test. Still got to wait for the time to complete. But, but right now it looks like I'm definitely negative. Now the other line could, the T line could come in and that would mean I got a false positive or false negative or something and I got to retest. If test line is T together with C, that means the result is positive. Look carefully at the result. Huh. Yeah, so what, even if, uh, even if they're faint. And just T is an invalid result. Oh, so I gotta, I definitely gotta wait for the time. So I might be getting, I don't see any other line yet, but I'll say I gotta wait till the timer's over, but... <laughs> I've been outside all day the past two days, like literally, like from daylight to dusk, basically. So, 
and, and it's springtime and pollen's everywhere, so I guess that's what it is, but I don't typically react this way. Uh, I don't have seasonal allergies or anything, but like I say, we've got, we've had it, we have had a fuckload of pollen. I literally washed my truck yesterday morning, and last night when I went to go to town, I realized it was covered with yellow again, so yeah, I don't know that I've ever seen this much pollen, this persistently. Um, uh, so hopefully that's all it is, but... I mean, I'm boosted. I got both X. I got, you know, got both doses and a booster, so I'm probably fine either way, but I don't like coughs. Still looking good. So what we got here is these guys are stringing cable, as you can probably see, which is supposedly going to support 5G. It's support cable that 5G fiber optic cable is going to wrap around. So that's fun. So this thing man i'm used to mowing on three you can't mow past i was cleaning it Ugh. you can't mow past the top one and you got to mow slow as hell which is actually good for my back but then literally one pass in the field from one fence line to the other fence line fills both bags <laughs> and you've got to and you've got to give the, the pipe a little shake and if the grass is at all wet it won't go. I'm basically right now I'm vacuuming up everything I mowed yesterday. I got some Teflon spray coming so I can clean everything and spray it down with Teflon and hopefully that will uh, facilitate the process of slicking everything up a little bit so it doesn't get as clogged up. I mean the grass looks phenomenal. I made a video the other day. God dang it I forgot I can't zoom in on this. I made a video the other day when I didn't realize that all I was doing was vacuuming the grass up into the tube. <laughs> And that it was basically just clogging the tube and not vacuuming anymore. So I was like, ah, it does a pretty good job. It picks up, you know, 80, 90% of what's... No, no. If you actually do it right, it picks up 99%. I'll go ahead and walk out here. Like where you see where my firewood patches are, where it's thick. I've done everything from here over. I haven't done that. So hopefully you can somewhat tell the difference. That's all done. And then moving into the not done. I mean, but even like all this, can you even pick up all the... I don't know if you can pick up just all the loose grass here, like all these clumps is basically what I'm what I'm raking. I'm mowing a little bit because it's been a few days since I mowed, so part of it's getting mowed, but most of it's just getting raked. And uh, so yeah, you can see how clumpy this stuff is, right? You can see, and it just it just picks it all up real nice as long as you have it all the way high up, and as long as you give the tube a little shake to facilitate the grass growing up, going up the. Uh... And again, if it's dry like this, it doesn't really have an issue. But if it's all green or wet, it wants to clump up. So, I don't know. I'm kind of wishing I would have got the other. The, they had another option I said on the video, which it was a pull-behind trailer option with a little dump handle. And you just pull up your dump spot and dump it. I mean, I don't know how many laps that is in the field. 50? 100 for the whole property? So I'll be doing 50 bags minimum every time I mow. 